Hey guys, welcome back. Drip and Farm for Poppin'. I'm your host, Drip Coach, dropping knowledge bombs on all Drip ecosystem related projects. And I know you're asking yourself, why in the world do I have SafeFu up on the screen, especially the SafeFu Insurance Fund? Now, I'm going to tell you, it's because Brian did indeed actually now buy Drip and it's confirmed. The other one, I couldn't confirm, but this one is 100% confirmed because it's from this address. Now, full disclaimer, I do not know enough about SafeFu, Vulcan, um, uh, all this other stuff that he's doing, man, it's it's a very intricate ecosystem. And I know that it's polarized and that some people swear by Brian, others hate him. But all I do is watch the blockchain <laughs> and look at the moves that are being made. So we come here, he's labeled it nicely for us. So you can actually come to the Safe Food Protocol get book, get that address, paste it into good old BSC scan, and it shows up that you do indeed have that address. Why did I do that? Well, because you scroll down through here, you see Three hours ago, this drip token. What is that? Well, three hours ago, he purchased 30,000 drip. Let's go back before that, though. You'll find that he sold from Seifu 310,000 Seifu for $73,000, right? So he is swapping Seifu, the vintage, to a b and b Then he got 29 BNB. And of that 29 BNB, he swapped a portion of that to get about $11,000 in BUSD. And then with that BUSD, he went over to the pancake swap, picked that $11,000 and bought 31,000 drip. And it was sitting in the Safeway Insurance Fund wallet. That was three hours ago. From there, that wallet then transferred it to this wallet, incurring a 10% tax going to the vault. Now that's where the trail stops because then he's doing some other stuff over here um, that I'm not really following for this video, but it will be interesting to see. So let's go over to that other wallet. In this wallet, we have $632,000 worth of assets. One of which is 1,033 Seifu Go tokens, which are currently valued just over $500. And um, when we scroll down, we see that 27,000 drip that came over. So about 28,000, we'll just round up for simple numbers. Now, why is that important? Well, because um, in the Seifu Go Git book, he mentioned that part of this new Seifu Go protocol is that by adding other partner tokens, ESCO is exposed to more communities beyond Seifu. For example, Drip is a launch partner. Okay, so that tells us that that is something coming in the very, very beginning. Seifu Go just launched, uh, three days ago, I don't even remember, but not long. And supporters of Drip can now directly, I think it was a uh, Sunday morning, sorry, Sunday morning at 7 a.m. my time. So just over 72 hours, coming up on 96 hours. So Drip is a launch partner and supporters of Drip can now directly participate in the ESCO ecosystem using tokens they already own. Boom, ESCO just added new utility to our partner tokens. Now what that looks like is this arbitrage. I thought it was about LP pools where we would have that opportunity, but I did a little digging and found out that there is this uh, blacklist. So what this blacklist means is Seifu Go's business model includes setup fees and monthly subscriptions from our Seifu Go partnership and revenue streams. Right here, unauthorized ESCO pairs are stopped in their tracks. If someone or some project were to make an unauthorized ESCO pair on PancakeSwap, this is considered depriving ESCO and its holders of rightful revenue. So what this basically means in short is that the way that Brian has written this contract, it's basically going to be um, if I were to take my ESCO and pair it with Animal Farm Dogs, for example, or some shit token I made myself, it would get blacklisted because that contract pair has not been um, created by them or authorized on their ESCO swap. So therefore it will, um, it won't allow it to go through. You won't be able to actually pair it up or add liquidity to it. So when unauthorized pairs are detected, the swap contract will be placed on the contracts only blacklist. And from that point on all ESCO token transfers for the swap pair will revert, preventing any trading and returning funds back in those reverted transactions. So I'll, I guess you can create it, but additional liquidity being added to for people to uh, participate in it will get reverted. The reason why that's important to note is because he is creating the drip ESCO pair, as he mentions right here, launch partner. So we know now that there's 30,000 
30,000 drip tokens or $10,000 worth in there. And in this wallet, there's also plenty of ESCO for that pairing. Now, the way this arbitrage works is that you're able, you're basically creating um, transaction volume for, or fees, I should say, uh, trading fees uh, for the ESCO token by him adding drip to this pool and this pool over here having Seifu and this one having BNB and then whatever the other uh, pairs are, you're basically able to arbitrage back and forth and make profits, which end up causing fees to be generated and then ESCO to actually be uh, vaporized, he calls it, or, or sold. The event, I'm sorry, burned. Uh, eventually, ESCO will go down to a 5,000 market cap uh, token supply. Right now, the total supply is almost already down by 50% from its launch literally less than 96 hours ago, which has the price at uh, almost $500 in one of these pools. I'm sorry, over $500. So right now, the way this arbitrage works, because I know it's kind of confusing and definitely I don't have my head wrapped around the whole thing. But in this case, what you could do is you could buy, be in, buy ESCO in this pool with ESCO and BNB. Then you would take that ESCO and sell it in this pool. This is why Seifu price is going down so much because you'll be able to sell it here because it's higher, right? So therefore you're making a small profit on that arbitrage. As he adds more tokens into this ecosystem, you end up with this. So, you know, you could then have drip being sold or utilized in this arbitrage opportunity, but the LPs will stay in there. And this is actually bullish for drip because remember every time drip is sold, it incurs a tax and that tax goes straight to the vault. So I am curious to see how this shapes up because yeah, it sucks that the LPs are being pulled into another location, but due to this ecosystem, it appears he's building, they're not going to ever be broken back up. I can't say ever. Brian is constantly going back on his word. And it's like I said, at a minimum, a bold faced liar. But um, at least for right now, from what I see what he's doing and launching this token at $5 and it already being up 100X, it was up much higher than that. Um, somebody ran off of one and a half million dollars of liquidity, but this is still not bad. 96 hours after launch to be up 100X. Um, I am curious to see how this plays out. So I don't know how this will affect Drip or how much will be coming in there, but clearly he put up a bag and that's the power of the blockchain. Anybody can do whatever they want. And I am going to be tracking it because I am curious to see. So theoretically, based on his announcement that he had here somewhere, um, the partner or something or whatever. So I'm guessing that will be indeed be drip because literally three hours ago, he purchased 10 grand worth of drip and it's not being put into the drip faucet. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting to watch. And if this gets a lot of bullish momentum from his community, as I said, there are more of them over there and maybe they will come over to drip. Also, if this arbitrage opportunity is uh, super bullish, then that's a lot of fees being generated for the drip token. So, hey, it's a win-win in my book. So we'll see. But I just want to bring that to you guys because this one is indeed confirmed. The other one I, I couldn't you know verify, but this one literally right there on the blockchain, we know it's him. All right, that's all I got. Hope that provides value. If it did, smash that HBO special help brother out. Like, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, lift daily and achieve your impossible. See ya. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.